up everybody, Comrade here. Let's get into some more Lord. You ready your horse, you're in high spirits. Pink Dragon broke into your room at the end and killed you. Well, how about that? The Red Dragon has been killed by Agra Santos. Good for him. And by Jasmu. B. Ryer became the ultimate warrior and beat Turgeon. Good for him, too. All right. So where are we at? Uh, what are we at for money here? 87 grand, 88 grand. Nice. Um, let's go to the end. Let's start our day the way we always do, by flirting with Violet. Uh, last time I set her on my lap, I believe. So this time we'll grab her on the backside. Oh, she didn't like that at all. You palm her shapely cheeks. She breaks a tankard over your head. You swoon and fall on your face. The entire bar laughs at your misfortune. Lose 70 hit points. Well, let's hear the bard sing then. What's he got to say? I received one more forest fight to, for today. He's got a new poem. He's got a new song. Let me tell you the legend of the red dragon. They said he was old, that his claws were sagging. It's not so. Don't be fooled. He's alive and well, still killing where he ruled. Song makes you feel strange wonder and awakening. All right. Uh, well, let's go heal up then. Nope, not that. Back, heal up. Heal up. Zero. Oh, because I don't have any money. Okay. Uh, well, let's just get into a force fight. Look for something. A massive dinosaur. He's got a lot of hit points. Hopefully, he gives me a lot of money. He does give me a lot of money. Good chunk of experience, too. Okay, now let's heal up. All right. Look for something to kill. A Nighthawk. Yeah, we're getting into some, some hefty opponents here now that we've leveled up. Emperor Len. Oh, he got me for 21. Let's go and heal up. Nighthawk again. He executes power move, but he misses me completely. And then he hit me for 11 with a normal move. Found a gem. Nice. Head on back to the inn, talk to the bartender about gems, and trade it in for vitality. Such is our way. Look for something to kill. Creepy event. Your quest is interrupted by a strange wailing noise. We know who this is going to be. Closer inspection reveals the eerie howl seems to be coming from a nearby cave. It's our old friend Olivia. Let's get inside her head and find out what the castle's going to be. It's going to be Ganon Keep. Well, you tell me about yourself, you ask Olivia. Olivia nudges herself to a better speaking position. Well, I was thinking about when I had my body. A very beautiful one, if I do say so myself. Men followed me like flies to honey, especially one man. At the time, he was a town crier at Gannon Keep. It's because of him I am like this, you see. He, and you interrupt, and you say, got a la I got a jet. All right, look for something to kill. Massive dinosaur. Chop right through his hit points. Like they're nothing, like they're butter. Goliath. Oh, he hits me for 15 with his six-fingered fist. Oh, with his six-finger fist again, he gets me for 27. But I take him out in the end. Uh, what are we doing for gold here? We're looking for 150. And we got 163. So we should be good to go. Um, armor? I don't, I don't remember where we're at here. Let's, let's head on back. Let's view my stats. I got armor of death. I think I upgraded that, but not the twin swords yet. So let's double check. Armor by armor of death. 200. Oh, I'm looking for 200, not 150, right? Whoopsies. Okay, let's double check. Uh, twin swords, 150. Yeah, I need 200 for the power axe, not 150. So let's go on back to the bank. Oh, we didn't withdraw it. Okay, so we're just looking for a little bit more change. You encountered Bone, a man with a simple name. He's only got 11 hit points. Uh, you hit Bone for 483 damage with a power move. Now that you have killed Bone, maybe he will get a life. <laughs> All right. A creepy event. Going to run into Olivia again. We already know. Oh, what was it? Oh, damn. I forgot. I forgot what she said it was going to be. All right. Get inside her head. Ganon Keep. Okay. Ganon Keep. I can remember that. 
Look for something to kill a massive dinosaur. Hits me for two with his gaping jaws. And I chop through him like tinder. Uh, Swiss Butcher. Hits me for 23 with his meat cleaver. You're glad you won. You really didn't want the haircut, you say. And you killed the Swiss Butcher. Heal up a little bit. Uh, purple, that thing, mon monchi, mon monchi chi, purple monchi chi, took him out, faster than I could say his name, uh, how are we at with Turgeon here, need 54 grand, take on Atsuko Sensei, back to the forest, look for something to kill, stumble upon a group of merry men, they healed me up even though I don't need it, take on Goliath, take on Nighthawk, Oh, he got me for 20 with his blood red talons and 29 more. Then I got him. Heal up. Uh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah, we're there. Cool. Okay, so withdraw all that. And then head on to King Arthur's and sell my weapon, the twin swords. They suited me well. But now it's time for a power axe. Yes, I will. Great. All right, back to the bank and deposit what I got left. Still a good chunk of change because I always forget I get money for selling the stuff. Uh, look for something to kill. Purple Monchi Chi again. No problem. Got a hammer stone. Raise my attack strength. Heading on to the Dark Cloak Tavern where I got nothing I really want to do. Maybe what, what do I got? A little bit of money. Guess which one I hit my teeth in, he says. Uh, I have 763 gold. Let's bet all of it. Agreed. I picked the right one. So he gives me a little bit more money. Well, there you go. Uh, evil Wood Nymph. Uh, you come across an ugly old hag. She says, give me a gem. You won't be sorry, my pet. I've never given her a gem and been happy about it, so I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't have any to give her anyways, so there. Uh, wicked Wombat. Misses me, misses me. It's hard to believe a little wombat like that could be so much trouble. You find yourself a gem. Another Wicked Wombat. That one's not so much trouble. Uh, fallen Angel. Not a problem. What else we got? Uh, Angry Lionotor. Lion, Lion Tor. You have laid this mythical beast to rest. Goliath again. And Emperor Len, he got me with his lightning bullwhip. But not for much. Look for something, found a gem, I got two. So back to the inn, talk to the bartender about gems and trade them in for vitality. Yeah, anybody online right now? Nope, just me. Forrest, look. Fight. Goblin Pygmy. Misses me, misses me, misses me. Look for massive dinosaur. He got me with his gaping jaws, but only for nine. He executes a power move and gets me for 61. Still not good enough. Healing on up. You look for something else. It's a Nighthawk. Rocking right through. An angry Lanator. Took him out. Um, we're far away still from leveling up. 44. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Back to the forest then and look for something to kill. Another goblin pygmy. Uh, down to six forest fights. A purple monchi chi. Uh, oh, I get five charms. You're whacked with a pretty stick by the old man. He giggles like a little fool and runs away. What else we got? Evil wood nymph. Swiss Butcher, let's use our Death Knight attack. Ultra powerful move and a spectacular move. You drive your weapon up between Swiss Butcher's legs. You grin as your power axe crunches noisily. You hit the Swiss Butcher for 729 damage. You're glad you won. You really didn't want that haircut. And what else we got here? Goliath, let's do the other Death Knight attack. Ultra powerful move. A spectacular move. You do the exact same thing. Now you know how David felt. Two more fights. Found a gem. Well, let's head on back to the inn. Talk to the bartender about gems and trade it in for vitality. 
And back to the forest again. There's another Goliath to finish out our day. Oh, one more forest fight. Nighthawk. There we go. Now we're done for the day. All right, healing on up. Now, what to do, what to do? How far are we? 40,000. And what are we doing for money? 292. It's probably like 500,000 or something to upgrade. What are we at? 400,000. Quite a ways to go yet. So let's check the fields, see if anybody's about. Nobody is about. Okay, we may have to be cutting this one pretty short. Uh, back to the inn, there's nothing really going on here, right? What are the people saying? Nothing, nothing, nobody's saying nothing. Yeah, I guess that's about it for today. That's about all we can do. I can, uh, yeah, you know, maybe we bribe the bartender. How much does he ask him for a bribe nowadays? How much do you want? Oh, $11,000? I don't know, man. That's pretty pricey. Not that. I want to list the people. Not that. Go back here. I want to list the people. Where am I at on this, uh, on this scale here? I, there I am. Uh, comma eight. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth uh, the money. How much money do I got? All right, let, let's do it just to say we've done, done it. So we'll withdraw 12, and we'll go to the end, and we'll talk to the bartender, and we'll bribe the boy. Yep. Okay, so now I have full access to everybody who's in the inn. I'm a level 7. Oh, I should have checked to see what uh, my experience was. So let's try uh, let's try taking on Mudduck. See how we fare with him. Yep, that's who I mean. You enter Mudduck's room. He is sleeping. You notice he has a dangerous looking power axe by his bed. Uh-oh. Uh, are you sure you want to attack him? Yep, yeah, let's do it. Being a trained warrior, he jumps up suddenly aware of your presence. Okay, you have encountered Mudok. Your skill allows you to get the first strike. I get him for 31. He misses me. I get him for 48. He misses me. This is looking good. He executes a power move. Misses me completely. I get him for the 52. And we finished him out. I got two gems and 37,000 experience. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, is that all I can do? Yeah. So you get, like, you'd have to bribe him for each one. Well, that's pretty cool. What's that bring me up to here? Uh, where is my experience? 96,000. Still not enough for this, though, right? 3,000. I'm close. That almost got me all the way there. All right. Well, I guess, uh, we'll be getting a room at the end then. How much are we asking? 2,800. All right. Uh, back to the bank then. Withdraw or deposit the 800. And then withdraw. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, well. It's just force of habit. Back to the inn, get ourselves a room, and return to the mundane world. See you later.